Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. Uh, you can find us on the web at therevitguys.com or cadtechseminars.com. We do training, support, implementation for Revit and AutoCAD products. We're not resellers, so you get an honest, straightforward answer. So let's take a look at how we can adjust some pipes in Revit. Uh, in this scenario, we've placed all the pipes on level 1, um, plus 9 feet. And when we go to the south elevation, really we des we decided that we want that to be level 2 minus 1 foot, level 2 minus whatever this is, right? Um, so now we're thinking to ourselves, great, how can I change the associativity between the levels? Now, sometimes it gets a little squirrely. I'm going to try to show you some easy ways to make this happen. So whatever level you're in, that's important. If I go change to another level, it might cause some issues. So I'm in level 1. That's why I'm working. So I'm going to go to level 1. I'm going to grab this piece of pipe, and you'll see that it says level 1. Now, if I change it to level 2, all right, you'll notice that something happened here. If I click Escape a couple times, and I grab that pipe again, you'll see that it now says level 2, negative 1. So the pipe didn't move. It just changed the associated level. Now, I'm going to hit Undo on that. There we go. Now, if I pick it again, you'll see it's back at 9 feet. Now, if I grab all the elements and try to change associativity, you notice that it's not available. Uh, don't panic. There's some easy ways to make that happen. The first thing I'm going to do is pick the run of pipe, hover, tab, pick it. Now, to verify that it's, that it's where, where it needs to be, go to your south elevation or cut a section and verify the location of the pipe. If you want to put a dimension on that, you put a dimension, just to keep it and uh, make sure everything's all good. Okay, it's nine feet. No smoke and mirrors. Even lock it if you want so it doesn't move. Now, what I'm going to do is hover, tab, pick, right? So I pick them all. You'll notice I can't change the actual associativity to the level. So I'm going to filter them out. Hit the filter button. I'm going to say filter out what? Filter out the pipes. Hit OK. Um, now the pipes are just the things that are highlighted. At this point, I'm going to change the associated level to level 2. Now, you may have noticed nothing really happened um, in that scenario. You know, they just disappear off the screen. They're, they're still there. Let's take a look at the south elevation again. You'll notice there they are. Now, if you're worried about these pipes moving, and they maybe they do, uh, you could put, again, a couple dimensions in there and lock the um, each little set there, and that'll, again, keep them from moving. Now, that's probably not needed. The second thing we need to do is, so the pipe, notice, is associated with level 2. That's what we're looking for. But the fitting is still associated with level 1. Now we got kind of a mixed bag. we got this one at negative one foot from the level above and this one from level two and this is nine feet up from level one so it's getting kind of weird so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pipe I'm going to hit tab grab it and I'm going to say reapply type I hit reapply type and let's see what's happened now so we got the pipe is at level two and it is um, minus one we pick the fitting and you'll notice it is at level two minus one and again level two minus one so what we did was we did it in two steps and it took care of our scenario. We also want to go back and verify the pipes did not jump. You'll see they're still at the appropriate level. They did not go up and down. So you may have to do it with a few different uh, passes. You may have to adjust your equipment, adjust your pipes, and adjust your um, uh, fittings. So hopefully that uh, tip worked for you guys. Give it a shot. If you have any questions or comments, check us out on the web at therevitguys.com. Thank you.